In this video, I will show you the basics of how to use PureF. So PureF is an amazing program for organizing and viewing reference images when you're creating artwork. And I use it all the time when I'm working on a 3D project or doing some sculpting or drawing. And you could also use the program as an inspiration board as well. So I will have links in the description to the PureF official website. And also I'll leave a link to the page of all the shortcut keys on their website. And also I'll have a link to their official YouTube channel. Now right here on their website, you can just click on the download button. And then you can choose your operating system. Now the program is free. So what you can do is just go to the custom amount here and you can punch in zero and hit enter and then you can just download it for free. But if you find benefit from the program then definitely consider supporting them and I'm sure they would appreciate it. So once you install and open up PureRef you can see there's going to be an empty canvas and something that you might notice is unlike most programs PureRef doesn't actually have a top bar that you can use to drag around the program. So if you want to move the window around you can just right click and drag and that is going to move it around. And if you want to make the window full screen to toggle between the full screen, you can press Control F. So Control F will toggle the full screen. Now to add images into the program, you can right click and then you can go down here to load and you can click on load images. Or you can just drag and drop images from your file browser into the program. But what you can also do is you can just drag and drop the images from your internet browser into PureF. So this can really speed up your workflow when you're collecting reference images for an art project. And all of the reference images that I'm using for demonstration in this video are from my ArtStation profile. So if you'd like to check out my ArtStation, I'll have the links in the description. Now, if you want to change the size of the PureRef program, you can just click and drag on the edges and that'll change the size of it. And this can be very useful if you only have one monitor and you want to see the reference images on one side of the monitor and then have your other program on the other side. So I can right click and drag and I can just bring this over and then I can left click and drag to make this smaller. And then I could just open up Blender or a 2D program or whatever program you're using and I could put that on the other side of my monitor and then I could make this bigger and I can just resize PureF to whatever size that I want. Or what's also so helpful about resizing PureF is if you have multiple monitors. So I have a multiple monitor setup and let's say I'm doing some sculpting on my drawing tablet. I could keep on dragging this and I could drag it all the way out until it spans two monitors and then I could move the images between both monitors. Now to zoom in and out of your your canvas you can just use the scroll wheel to zoom in and out. And then to move around the canvas, you can just click down with the middle mouse button and you can move around to move your view. Or you can also hold down the Alt key and left click and that'll move around the canvas. So once you've added in some reference images, you can of course use the left click to select them. And then if you want to scale the reference images, you can hold down the Control and Alt key and then click with the left mouse button and you can drag in and out to scale the images. Or you can also select an image and you can go right up here to the corner and you can drag to scale the images. And then if you want to rotate the images, you can hold down the control key and left click and drag and that'll rotate the images around. Or you can also go right up here in the corner and you can rotate the images. And then if you hold down the shift key and left click and drag, that is going to constrain the images to only moving up and down or left and right. And then if you want to center on any image, you can just double click on the image and that is going to center it to your view. And then to select multiple images, you can hold down the shift key and select different images, or you can just click and drag and that is going to add a box select and you can just box select any images and then you can move them around together. And you can also press Control A if you want to select all of the images. Now, as I mentioned earlier, unlike other programs, PureF doesn't have a window bar that you can use to drag around the program. So if you want to minimize the program, you can press Control M and Control M will minimize the program. You can also just right click on the program and then you can go here to window and then you can maximize or minimize. And also if you right click on the program, it's going to show you a bunch of different settings. And let's actually click right here on the settings button to go over a few of the different settings. So there's a bunch of different preferences here. I haven't really changed any of the preferences, but if you want to look through the preferences, you could do that there. You could also change the colors. So there's actually a light mode if you want to use a light mode. I think the dark mode looks really nice, so I'm going to leave it at dark. And you could also use these custom slots to create your own custom colors. And then all of the shortcut keys are also customizable over here on the key bindings. So you can go to the key bindings, and if you want to change 
change any of the shortcut keys if you don't like how they are you can just click here and change any of the shortcut keys and then click on apply now if you've brought in a bunch of different images and you want to quickly organize all of them there's a really cool way to do this so you can press Control a to select all your images and then you can right click and you can go down here to images and you can go down to normalize and then you can normalize the scale and if I do that you can see all the images are going to be an even size and the shortcut key for this is the control alt up arrow but I'm using the Linux Mint operating system and on Linux Mint the control alt up arrow is going to show all of the workspaces on Linux so I've changed the shortcut key in pure F settings to shift s then you can also right click again and you can go down here to images and you can go to the arrange settings and you can choose optimal and this is going to nicely arrange the images for you and the shortcut key for this is control P so again, if you want to quickly organize a bunch of images that you've added in, you can press the control alt up arrow. I use shift S and then you can press control P and it's going to resize and organize the images. And then of course you can drag them around and customize them further. And then PRF also has a really cool note feature. So you can press control N and that's going to add a new note, or you can just right click and then click here and add a note. And then you can double click on the note if you want to rename the note. And then you can scale the note and you can rotate the note and you can move it around just like any image. Now to save the file, just like most programs, you can press control S or you can just right click and then you can click on save. And then you can locate to somewhere on your computer where you want to save the PureF file and you can rename it and then click on save. And what's really great about PureF is that it's going to save all the image data in the PureF file. So you don't need to save these images to individual files on your computer. And if these files are images from your computer, you can move them around. You can move them to somewhere else on your computer and PureF isn't going to lose the image data because it's actually going to pack all of the image files into the PureF file. So then to close the program, I can press Control X or I can right click and then click on close. And then in my file browser on Linux Mint, here is the PureF file. So I can just open this up again when I want to work on my project and it's going to have all the reference images. And so what you can do with PureF is you can create different reference boards from different files. So I have this folder on my computer where I've created a bunch of different PureF files. And so if I ever want to work on a project, for instance, maybe I want to create some sci-fi robots, I can just open up the sci-fi robot robots file and I can use this file for my reference images and I can continue to add more images and move the references around. So this is a really cool way to collect and save reference boards. So that is the basics of PureF. It's a really great program for organizing your reference images. So I hope you found this video helpful and thank you for watching.